I have been wanting to get to this video for a very, very long time. Jujutsu Kaisen was one of the best anime to come out in 2020. Yeah, I've been going over a bunch of winter 2021 anime, but I have to talk about Jujutsu Kaisen because I wasn't going to talk about it while it was still in its run. You know, I wanted to finish up the season and then have a discussion about it. And I'm really, really glad that I did, to be honest, because if I had just taken my thoughts of the first 12 episodes, and put those out there, it would not be a complete review. Jujutsu Kaisen is the latest big shonen anime. It follows Yuji Itadori, our upbeat, friendly, super athletic idiot of a protagonist. One day he runs into Megumi Fushigoro and due to a certain set of circumstances, ends up swallowing a cursed object. That cursed object being a rotten finger. Yeah, it's as, it's as gross as you think it would be. But this rotten finger isn't just any rotten finger. How many rotten fingers would you really know about? Anyway, th this rotten Rotten finger belongs to an ancient evil cursed spirit named Sukuna. Once he swallows Sukuna's finger, he feels their power deep inside of them, trying to take control. And it doesn't. It just doesn't, because Itadori's great. Itadori has found that he is a vessel for this cursed spirit. One of the most powerful cursed spirits to ever exist. So overnight, Itadori goes from being just a normal person living in the normal world to a Jujutsu Sorcerer. Jujutsu Sorcerers are people who go around Japan hunting down cursed spirits who are affecting people in the area, taking care of threats and keeping people safe. They each also have cursed powers, but we'll get into that in a little bit here. Itadori joins Tokyo Prefectural Jujutsu High School, where he becomes actual classmates with Megami and also Nobura Kugisaki, an overly self-confident and pretty rude person who is absolutely hilarious. Their little team is led by their teacher and greatest Jujutsu sorcerer in the world, Satoru Gojo, a man with special eyes. This anime was done by Studio Mappa, of anime studio I've already talked about a bit in my Attack on Titan review, where I talked about how MAPPA is excellent at animating very fast action sequences, whether or not it was back in Yuri on Ice with large flips and moving around this big ice skating rink, or in Attack on Titan where they have people in the omnidirectional gear moving all over the fucking place, whipping and spinning around. But Jujutsu Kaisen, I think, is their greatest show of animation talent to date. MAPPA takes full advantage of their talent in those wide sweeping shots. This kind of laser focused speciality they have in making these long panning shots that move so fluidly around action scenes. Fights in this anime are all over the place and each one of them is a treat in some sort of way. There's either the source material's originality and ingenuity in how they set up the powers of each character and how those powers function in fights, or there's Mappa's incredible ability to translate that into a kinetic, engaging experience every step of the way. There is a very large, obvious utilization of 3D animation also going into this, which I think they're incredible at. Sometimes you can see the seams, the flaws, but none of that really matters when you have the energy going into it that Jujutsu Kaisen's action has. To add on top of it, the writing in each characters are just perfectly well balanced. Each character has their own silliness to them their own kind of insanity. Now this comes in two different ways. First off, just in their interactions together, there's a lot of really funny interactions. There's just a lot of really good jokes, a lot of really good humor taking place here. The group dynamics working between each of the characters just making a really cohesive team. But also, Jujutsu Sorcerers all deal with living in a world where they are fighting cursed spirits all the time. And it is repeatedly stated in this anime that it's a hard life. It is not easy to constantly be dealing with death and curses. And so anybody in that world, anybody who lives and makes their life in that world, well, they're a little bit crazy. And you can see that in every single one of our characters. Kugisaki, Megami, Itadori, all of them are just a little bit crazy. You can tell that they are built for this kind of world. The one only major gripe I've had about Jujutsu Kaisen when watching it is that I feel like the story isn't super well paced at the beginning. And I've heard that that's partly the source material. I haven't read it myself so I couldn't say what's going on there. But there is a kind of rushed feeling that you get from the first 
six, eight episodes. It feels like it's constantly trying to move to set up its world as fast as possible, which I completely get. I think it reminds me a lot of what happened with Demon Slayer. What I've praised about Demon Slayer and what I think has made it so successful is that it got into its story quickly. It did not dawdle, which is a major problem that has always occurred in shonen anime. Say, One Piece or Naruto or Dragon Ball Z. There is large stretches of time where you are building up to the next part of the story. And those things were interesting and they had their place in anime, but you see more in modern anime, like Jujutsu Kaisen, like in, like in Demon Slayer, or like in My Hero Academia a more speeding along of that first initial training sequence. Sure, there's still training that occurs, it happens, but it doesn't take long stretches of time like older progenitor shonen anime used to. And I think Demon Slayer is amazing at that, but I think in Jujutsu Kaisen's case, there are times where that, that rush to get to the actual plot, the actual story of the anime is a bit rough. One of the main places I see that is in the formation of the main group itself in Itadori, Megami, and Kugisaki. One of the ways I feel it's really held back is that I never feel like initially they are a very strong group. Um, I'm not going to get into spoilers, but there is an initial section where they come together as a group and their group dynamics feel a bit too developed for people who have just met. And now that isn't to say it's a terrible anime. It's not. It's one of my favorite of the season. But it is a problem that made some of the character moments feel a bit lackluster. Like I wasn't fully engaged on this person because I didn't know them as well. But as I said, near the beginning of this anime, when you get into the second part of the season, you really feel like, yeah, that was the best decision because it starts clicking really, really well. In the second half of the season, they introduce so many amazing characters that just elevate this show far above what I had even loved about it to begin with. Uh, one of the best one is Toto. Toto, if you, I'm sure if you've heard anything about Jujutsu Kaisen, you've seen this motherfucker and he is absolutely hilarious. He's such a funny, weird character. He is, again, another example of people just being a bit off when they're a Jujutsu Sorcerer, but it, it works so well. One of the things you also hear people mention is Itadori's best classmate is Panda, who is a panda. Well, he's a cursed spirit, but he's a panda, and he he does a lot of a lot of cool action. He's a panda. He's a giant panda fighter. It's so weird. I love this. I, lo I love this anime. Jujutsu Kaisen is an anime I am highly anticipating getting more content from. This is top of the list of one of my favorite anime of this season. It is absolutely one of the best shonen anime out there right now. I definitely feel confident putting up there as one of the top three up there with Demon Slayer, up there with My Hero Academia. I think it falls below Demon Slayer for me because again, Demon Slayer has such an ability to be well-paced, also gorgeously animated show. And it just has a little bit more refinement to its characters and its storytelling than I think Jujutsu Kaisen has. But that is, again, I'm comparing the best to the best. You know, we are having the top levels of shonen action anime. So if you're looking for a great shonen anime, Jujutsu Kaisen, that is that's where you're going to want to go. You'll want to give this anime a shot because it is highly worth it. I, I can't get over some of these fight scenes. I go back and watch them still. They are just... MAPPA just has this ability to have these sweeping, energetic fights that no one else can. Not to say that they are the best animation studio to ever do it, but they are, their fights are so unique in this. There's such an energetic, cinematic feeling where you feel the camera moving in ways that you could never get from any other medium. Just excellent work. I highly recommend Jujutsu Kaisen, and thank you very much for watching this video. I've got one more. That's one more quick anime review before I get back to my Haruhi video and I'm going to disappear for a little bit by that so I can get that taken care of. Uh, so look forward to that anime review coming out shortly. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you like that video. Turn on the bell if you want to you know, know when I'm going to have more videos out. Like, comment, all that shit because it helps me know what people like or what people want to see from this channel. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day, great night, or whatever it is you're having and stay rad.